If you're looking for a wholesome, family-friendly movie, we highly recommend watching Slumberland on Netflix. A lot of people have been wondering whether Slumberland is a new movie entirely or it's adapted from Finding Nemo because the premise sounds familiar. So is the movie just a remake of the Little Nemo comic or does it venture out on its own way story-wise? Why did Jason Momoa enjoy filming so much? Here's what we know. First, is Slumberland a remake? Turns out Slumberland has been adapted from a famous comic strip from the early 20th century. Jason Momoa takes on the role of the protagonist, imaginary friend, when Little Nemo, played by Marlo Barkley, gets swept away to the magical world of Slumberland, she runs into a tall man named Flip, Jason Momoa's character, who has ram's horns for ears and strange clothing. Flip tells Little Nemo that he was her late father's business partner. He informs our main character that if she locates the treasure of Slumberland, she'll get one wish fulfilled. Of course, Little Nemo knows what she wants to see her dad again. The movie the movie isn't an exact remake of the original Little Nemo comic, which was written and illustrated by Windsor McKay, but the baseline of the story is pretty much the same. A young child dreams of a magical world called Slumberland, and has a lot of adventures. For the Netflix movie, Nemo was gender swapped, and the extra backstory with her father really showed why Nemo felt the need to run off to a magical world far different than her gloomy one, a reality where her father was no longer there with her. The original Little Nemo comic was groundbreaking for its time. Various iterations of the strip were published in numerous newspapers from 1905 to 1927. The illustrator would mess around with the proportions of a standard comic strip to match what Little Nemo was seeing on her journey through Slumberland. So it was almost like the Little Nemo comics were messing with the reader's 3D immersive experience before it was a thing. There was also another Japanese-American animated film adaptation of Little Nemo Adventures of Slumberland that came out in 1989. The question that now remains is, is Flip just a figment of Little Nemo's imagination? And will Little Nemo get her wish granted? You'll have to stream Slumberland and see it to find out. Sadly, like the world of Slumberland itself, the theatrical release of the film is only just a far-off fantasy at this point. Slumberland came out in theaters on November 11th, 2022, and it ran for one week. But you can stream it anytime you want if you're a Netflix subscriber. Coming up, Jason Momoa took a souvenir home. Momoa bought himself a special friend after he came back from filming Netflix's fantasy movie, Slumberland. Momoa uploaded two videos on Instagram in which he could be seen showing off the pig that was featured in the Netflix film. In the first video he posted, he wrote, My new friend Lau Lau or Manapua. We haven't decided yet. This is why I can't work with animals. I want to bring them home. Wild and feral like his pops. Aloha, Jay. Sick. Because the names Lau Lau and Manapua, the Hawaiian native thought hard, both seem like solid options. Both names also referred to popular Hawaiian dishes that, according to the Food Network, are respectively pork with butterfish wrapped in taro leaves and steamed beef buns. Sounds delicious. In the second video, the Game of Thrones star tagged the 13-year-old co-star, Marlo Barkley. He just couldn't contain his excitement. In the clip, he asked the pig if he wanted to tag along for you, the Slumberland premiere. He then convinced his new pet by offering to paint its nails and putting a top hat on it. We have to admit, though, a pig in a top hat would be really cute. You could even hear his mom in the background, telling him that painting nails is a bit too much since he just got the pig. Jason clapped back, saying that that's just what his personality is. Well, he ultimately settled on the name Manapua. Apparently, this isn't the first time he's done this. He confessed that it was tough for him to work with animals because he just ended up wanting to take them all with him. Moving on, Momoa enjoyed filming a lot. Besides adopting a pig, he also had a lot of other fun on set. Momoa mentioned that he was super dedicated to the film since his children are around the same age as his 14-year-old co-star. According to Momoa, working with Barkley was a great and enjoyable experience because of his fatherly qualities. He said that it was all thanks to Francis Lawrence, the director. Lawrence just knows him really well. He even gets to see Momoa with his kids and also how he is on set. Jason opened up and revealed that as soon as Francis pitched him the story, it made him tear up. He added that his own kids are the same age as Barkley and his first time working with a kid actor was really nice. He praised his co-star thoroughly, calling her wonderful and talented. He found her an extremely intelligent girl who also wasn't trying to be older. She knew exactly what was needed from her and gave that to the role. Additionally, he commented he was only trying to be younger than her and get on her level in that forever boy stage of life, which you might be able to see in the movie too. The two had a lot of fun together while filming almost every day, and Barkley claimed that Momoa was almost exactly who she had thought him to be since he always 
always knew how to make her laugh and knew how to have a fun time. Let's talk about what happens in the movie. Slumberland starts with Nemo and her dad, Peter, staying in a lighthouse, where her dad works as the caretaker. Nemo is homeschooled, learning how to work the lighthouse and survive in the wild. The father often tells her stories about his adventures with an imaginary friend named Flip. Their life is quite nice, but things go downhill as Peter is forced to sail out during a storm to help a ship. This is not something new, it's actually happened a few times before, so Nemo isn't worried. Sadly, the worst comes to pass, and her father dies in the disastrous weather. She then has no choice but to move in with Peter's younger brother, Philip, who lives in the city. Philip is awkward, boring, and runs a company that sells doorknobs. Nemo is admitted into a school, which is a big change for her. On the brighter side of things, her life completely changes when she sleeps at night as she passes into the realm of dreams, Slumberland. With her stuffed pig, which is alive in this world, in tow, Nemo runs into Flip, who admits that Peter and him were partners till he had a daughter. Nemo is surprised that Flip is actually real and chooses to go on an adventure with him. Flip is looking for magic pearls that can make any wish asked by the holder come true and promises Nemo that she will see her father one more time with their help. She finds the map that her father had for the location of these magical artifacts and installs a hammock in her school basement. She sleeps there instead of taking lessons so she can spend more time in slumberland on the hunt for the pearls. The adventure begins and takes us through a lot of ups and downs. What the little girl doesn't know is that Flip is wanted by the Dream Bureau as his search is illegal in slumberland. Therefore, they are chased by Agent Green. She manages to arrest Nemo and tells her the story of the pearls is made up. But Nemo doesn't quit. Finally, here's how it ended. Nemo eventually finds out that Flip wants to find the pearls to wake up. We're shown that if one spends a lot of time in the dream world, they forget themselves in the real world, which is what happened to Flip. Nemo doesn't get along with Philip. She also discovers that Peter and Philip used to be really close as kids and even had adventures of their own. It turns out that her slumberland friend is actually her uncle. The reason Philip is dull is because he quit dreaming after his brother left. After a fight with Philip, Nemo tries to sail to the lighthouse alone but is knocked out in the storm and in slumberland, a scary creature called the Nightmare follows her. Agent Green tells Nemo that she is going to be hunted until she lets go of her suffering. Philip searches for her in the waking world. Nemo finds the pearls and picks one up as the nightmare attacks again. Flip does his best to protect her, but is overpowered by the creature. She is forced to make a quick decision and chooses to save her friend and wishes for him to wake up, using up her one pearl. Nemo almost drowns, but is saved by Philip. However, she's still unconscious. It turns out that her pig had swallowed another pearl. She then gets to see her dad. Peter tells her to let go and live a wonderful life with Philip. Nemo wakes up and Philip promises to never abandon her. That's all for now. Are you going to watch Slumberland? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.